Google's latest update is here. Android 4.2 does not get a new code name and is still called Jelly Bean. Does this mean it's a minor update? Well, let's find out. Android 4.2 brings a lot of interesting additions to Jelly Bean and they all work great. Let's start with the biggest one. Multi-user support finally arrives to Android. It is still limited to tablets though, but that's something we can live with because most of us don't share our phones anyway. Head on into settings and under device you find a new option called users. Here you can add up to 7 other users meaning a total of 8 people can share a tablet. The first user is called the owner which is an administrator of sorts. The owner can add or remove other users. Each user gets their own personal apps and security. One user can have a pen and another can have a pattern and so on. To each user it's a fresh new tablet. They do not see other users photos or even downloaded apps. But still there is more to this. Say user 1 downloads and installs Facebook, it will not be visible on user 2's profile. But when user 2 wants to download Facebook, Android does not actually download it but just installs it to his profile, thus saving data. On the downside, each user needs to purchase an app separately. Turn on the screen and on the bottom you can find the list of users who share the tablet. You just need to tap on an icon and everything from the wallpaper to the security required changes and you can just access that to log into the user profile. At any time you can pull down the notification bar, tap on the user grid and get back to the lock screen where you can select a different user and switch user. There is no cumbersome login logout sequence involved and this makes it a lot easier to use. The lock screen has also received a facelift. The top portion of the screen now houses up to 5 widgets that you can swipe between. This is a welcome addition given that we've been asking for this for a long time. We now don't have to resort to third party apps to make this happen. There have been some changes to the keyboard as well. You can now glide to input text. Yeah, you heard me right. I said glide because uh, that's how Google likes to call it I guess. Anyway, it's similar to the swipe keyboard that we're used to. Uh, the keyboard also anticipates and predicts the next word. Add this to the offline voice dictation and the overall user experience with regards to the keyboard is a lot better than previous versions of Android. The notification bar has also been revamped. Pull it down from the left and you get a list of notifications. These notifications are now interactive. Pull it down from the right and you get a grid of quick toggles along with the aforementioned user grid. You can access commonly used settings like Bluetooth, Brightness, Auto Rotate, Airplane Mode and so on from here. It is worth noting that Google has taken display sizes into consideration and on phones a single finger swipe from the top gets the notifications and a double finger swipe gets you the quick toggles. I really like the attention to detail shown here. Android 4.2 now supports Miracast. Miracast is the standard that's gaining popularity real fast. Manufacturers like LG have stated that their 2013 line of TVs will have this inbuilt. But then again, Miracast dongles will be available soon. A less talked about feature is Daydream. This is basically a screensaver mode with conditions. That is, you can set it to turn on when the device is either docked or being charged or both. You can set it to display pictures that is photo frame or a collage of pictures that is photo table. It is worth noting that it will even pull pictures from Picasa and Google+. You also have the option of setting it to just display colors or headlines via currents or a clock with a very low brightness. Another very important feature of Android 4.2 is the revamped camera with its photo sphere functionality. So uh, since I'm using an XS7 here which does not have a rear facing camera, uh, I kinda got my Galaxy S3 out and I added Nexus 4's uh, camera app onto it. So this is of the updated camera on Android 4.2 OS. It's been optimized a lot for single handed usage as in you touch and hold anywhere on the camera and you get options like turning the camera around is done this way. Uh, similarly again switching it back again other options are all at a fingers disposal so this is a welcome addition over here and the much talked about and hyped up feature is the photosphere what this does is it lets you take a series of photographs and then it uh, stitches it together to form a 3D uh, a 3D image uh, so I've taken a photo earlier on let me just show you that by default it just comes as a series of uh, and JPEGs all stitched together and opening this up this is what's around me while not perfect it's still a cool feature to have you may not use it every day but still it's good that you have it 
this is how you move on to viewing the thumbnails of the film strip and uh, notice that while well, you switch the camera is still active one glaring omission to the settings menu is the developer options while it might not be important for everybody most people might not use it for some people like me who like to root their devices it's very important but not to worry you can all you need to do is go into about tablet and tap build number seven times and it actually tells you you're going to be a developer and just go back and press to developer options is enabled with every new version of android we get a surprise an easter egg here and there but this time once i got 4.2 i just went ahead and kept tapping over here and it's the same old uh, jelly bean over there so do we have any easter eggs yes we do just keep holding this and your regular bean throws here just go back and go back again and now go into display and go into daydream you get an extra option called bean finger so once you charge once you charge your phone or put it to a dock you can have bean finger activated so you can just play this game as long as you want to and then go back so that's the easter, easter egg with android 4.2 so apart from these guys, there are some other subtle changes as well, including fonts, transitions, pinch to zoom with email, security features updated, and so on. Overall, I feel that this update is really good. Uh, there are a lot of features delivered, and we were not promised a lot to begin with because this, is, this was an incremental update, not Keylamp Pi or Android 5.0. We, we just moved from Android 4.1 to 4.2. It's still Jelly Bean. So uh, I, I do understand that there will be people who are going to say that there weren't, there, weren't, there weren't enough features given but personally I feel that Google did a good job so hats off what do you guys think uh, let me know in the comment section hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google Plus all my contact details are in the description let me know what you guys thought about it let me know what you guys thought about this video and before you do that please hit the like and subscribe buttons and if you guys do want to help me out use my links to Amazon and Flipkart if you're, if you're from, the, from the United States use the Amazon links or wherever else that Amazon delivers. If you're from India, use the Flipkart links. That is if you guys want to help me out. Every time you guys purchase a, purchase something, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks. So, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, and uh, stay subscribed. I'll see you guys soon. Till then, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. And check out Cusco.com.